there, everybody. Welcome to this exciting journey through the digital universe. You know, we live in an amazing time, a time where technology has become an integral part of our daily lives. We have all this information at our fingertips. It's incredible. Just think about it. Anything you want to know is just a few clicks away. I'm talking about the internet, of course, this vast network that connects us all. Have you ever wondered how it all works? How does this magical web of information come together? How do computers talk to each other? It's like magic, right? Well, not really. It's called computer networking. This is the backbone of the internet. Don't worry, you don't need to be a tech whiz to understand it. It's simpler than you might think. Today, we're going to break it down in a way that even I can understand. We'll explore the basics and make it fun. And trust me, if I can get it, anyone can. We'll start with the basics and build up from there. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn about the wonderful world of computer networking. From how data travels across the globe to how your favorite websites load in an instant, we'll cover it all. By the end of this journey, you'll have a newfound appreciation for the technology that powers our connected world. Let's dive in and discover the magic behind the scenes. Imagine you're at a party. People are talking, sharing stories, and having fun. Computer networking is kind of like that. It's how computers talk to each other and share information. Just like people, computers need a way to connect and communicate. That's where networking comes in. Think of it like a giant phone system for computers. They can send messages, share files, and even play games together. It's pretty cool. And just like at a party, there are different groups of computers that like to hang out together. These are called networks. There are all sorts of networks out there, but the two most common ones are local area networks and wide area networks. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. The first one is the local area network. Think of it like your home Wi-Fi. It connects all your devices, your phone, laptop, smart TV, everything. Next, we have the wide area network. This is a much bigger network like the internet itself. It connects local area networks all over the world, allowing us to communicate with anyone, anywhere. So you have your own little network at home and then this giant network connecting everyone. Pretty neat, huh? Now let's talk about the big kahuna, the internet. You know, that thing you're using to watch this right now? The internet is basically a giant network of networks. It's like a massive web connecting billions of devices worldwide. Remember those wide area networks we talked about? The internet is like a super wide area network connecting all those wide area networks together. It's how we can email someone in Japan, watch a video from Brazil, or share a funny meme with our friends across town. It's all thanks to the power of the internet. Now, how do all these messages and data find their way around the internet? That's where routers come in. Think of a router like a traffic cop. It directs data packets, those are little chunks of information, to their correct destination. Just like a traffic cop directs cars at an intersection, a router makes sure data packets get to the right place. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Routers are essential for making sure the internet runs smoothly. They're like the unsung heroes of the online world. We've talked about routers, but what about switches? They're like the little helpers that keep everything connected within a network. Imagine a switch like a receptionist in a big office building. When you call a specific person, the receptionist connects you to their line. Switches do the same thing for devices on a network. They make sure data gets sent to the right device, not just any random device. So, routers direct traffic between networks, while switches handle connections within a network. They're a real power couple. Every computer on the internet needs an address, so other computers know where to send information. This address is called an IP address. It's like your home address, but for your computer. It's a unique set of numbers that identifies your device on the network. Don't worry, you don't need to memorize your IP address. Your computer does all the hard work for you. Just know that it's there, working behind the scenes. And just like you wouldn't want to give your home address to strangers, it's important to keep your IP address safe online. IP addresses are great, but they're not very human friendly. Imagine trying to remember a long string of numbers for every website you want to visit. It would be like trying to memorize the phone numbers of all your contacts without saving them in your phone. Quite a hassle, right? That's where the domain name system, DNS, comes in. DNS is a crucial part of the Internet's infrastructure, acting as a bridge between human-friendly domain names and the numerical IP addresses that computers use to identify each other on the network. Think of DNS like a giant phone book for the Internet. Just as you would look up a person's name to find their phone number, DNS allows you to look up a website's domain name to find its corresponding IP address. 
It translates those hard-to-remember IP addresses into easy-to-understand website names. This translation process happens so quickly and seamlessly that you don't even notice it. For example, instead of typing in a string of numbers like 172.217.160.142 to visit Google, you just type in google.com. Much easier, right? This convenience is all thanks to DNS. DNS is like the magic behind the scenes that makes the internet user-friendly. Without it, the web would be a much more complicated place to navigate. Every time you enter a web address, DNS is working in the background to connect you to the right site. It's one of those things we often take for granted, but it's essential for browsing the web. Without DNS, the internet as we know it wouldn't be possible. It ensures that we can easily access websites, send emails, and perform countless other online activities without having to worry about the technical details. So next time you effortlessly browse the web, remember the DNS working tirelessly behind the scenes. It's the unsung hero of the internet, making our digital lives simpler and more efficient. DNS servers are distributed all around the world, forming a vast network that ensures quick and reliable access to websites no matter where you are. This global network is constantly updated to keep the internet running smoothly. In essence, DNS is the backbone of our online experience, translating complex numerical addresses into the simple, memorable names we use every day. It's a perfect example of how technology works behind the scenes to make our lives easier. Let's talk protocols, HTTP and HTTPS. You might have noticed that websites start with HTTP or HTTPS. These are protocols and they're like the language of the internet. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It's how web browsers and servers communicate with each other. It's what allows you to view web pages. HTTPS is like HTTP's more secure sibling. It encrypts your data, making it much harder for hackers to steal your information. Always look for that S in the address bar. Using secure protocols is like locking your doors and windows online. Well, there you have it, a crash course in computer networking and the internet. I hope you learned something new and maybe even had a little fun along the way. If you enjoyed this little journey into the world of tech, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more fun and informative content. Now go forth and impress your friends with your newfound knowledge of the internet. And as always, be kind to one another, stay curious, and keep on learning.